appear at the Kevin Klein Award. Everybody knows, and most people are saying, this wouldn't have happened, it certainly wouldn't have happened the way it did without director Edward Caulfield. Ed produced this. It's been a challenging year. There were budget cuts. Uh, there were arguments. And yet, tonight, tonight there was a beautiful party. A lot of people got an award, and they actually got to take something home. It's a, it's, it's a plaque. Hey, one more something. Ed, how do you feel? We had a good turnout today, didn't uh, we? I couldn't be happier. I thought it was a great night. Even I had a good time, the original curmudgeon. And uh, I thought it was a great evening. There was a great, amazing um, sort of tone in the room, and so I got lucky. How many people do you think were here tonight? I would say between 450 and 500. Uh, I didn't count. Uh, I'll look and see what the tickets will tell me tomorrow. But I think it's the biggest crowd we've ever had in this venue. I think it probably is. Uh, the entertainment. Who put that together? Uh, my dear friend Ron Gibbs and Al Fisher put all that. They put the performers together and run it by me, and then they, they really put it together, and, and I thought they did a great job. I thought There's No Business Like Show Business was a great choice of song. It is my favorite song in the entire world, so I, I, I did insist on that. Would you like to sing it? Not at this point. <laughs> no one could blame him. But it's true. There is no business like show business. Because you smile when you are alone. It's true. Thank you. And tonight, nobody's feeling low. The awards went well. It was a really good evening for St. Louis Theater. Thank you.